symbols help you speed up your workflow by allowing you to reuse common elements and keep them in sync across your project. This is an oh so helpful feature because when you make a change to a symbol, that change automatically applies everywhere that symbol appears. Symbols can be used on anything, not only navigation menus, but also footers, contact information, pricing sections, company branding features such as your logo, even hero sections. But rather than continuing to list off items symbols are used for, let's go ahead and talk about how to create them and how to reuse them as well as how to edit them. Finally, we'll also talk about unlinking a symbol if you no longer want it tied to an other instance of that symbol. In this demonstration, we will make the navigation menu a symbol. From the canvas or the inspector pane, select the nav bar container. Symbols are managed under the content pane from the symbols sub panel. Choose symbols and click on create symbol from selection. A preview of the symbol will appear up at the top. The panel will allow you to name the symbol so that you can identify it later. It also gives you a drop-down list of every instance that symbol appears in your project. Now that it's created, you may reuse it in other locations. To add that symbol to a new location, such as a new page, navigate to your desired location. Then go back to the Content pane, Symbols section, and under the symbol that you want, click on Insert into Canvas. The symbol will appear on the canvas upon click. If you need to reposition it, you may drag and drop it on the canvas or use the Inspector pane to move it. If you need to change any instance of the symbol, Every page will reflect the update. Go ahead and try it. Click on the menu and change the color. You can see that the other symbols throughout the project are changed too without you having to re-edit a billion times. It does not matter which instance you edit from. If you ever decide a feature is no longer needed to be a part of a synced symbol, select that specific instance and from the content pane, under the Symbols panel, click on the yellow box with the Unchain icon. That will unlink that specific instance from the group so that it may be styled independently. Keep in mind that if the elements continue to share the same class name, the styles will stay in sync. To avoid this, you'll need to apply a new class name or give an additional class name so that it can be styled separately. Symbols totally saves the day and countless hours as you tweak and craft your website projects.